Welcome. In this video, I'm going to have a brief introduction how to use the software SESM, that is the compiler. Uh, first of all, after you install it, you start the application. You need to make sure go to the setting, uh, go to the build tab to make a check mark x86, that is a 32 bit uh, version of the application and also the compiler we are going to use NES. Okay, these two check mark make sure you, you select it and apply to uh, open. This is a very simple application. Here has two bar as a limited functions. Uh, first of all, let's create a new one. So this is the icon create a new application. The Template for the new application is a static section.txt that is the place to write your code. Global May, this is defy a May entry port, start your application. May as a label to write your code underneath the main. From this toolbar, we have save button. This handle button is used for compile. If you build this application, if you click it, you will see build successfully. That green color shows uh, you do not have error for this program. And then you can run this application from here, build and run. And also the very important uh, icon is here, debug. So when you click it, uh, you will see the program stop at the first line of the entry point and then you will see the register uh, information. If you does not have this information, you make uh, you need to make sure go to the debug tab and make this two check mark show register, show memory. In that way you can see what is the variable memory address, memory value and also you can see the registered value and in the hex or in the decimal. Okay, this is the basic settings for you started program. Uh, let's open a file which I previously created. From there, uh, I'm going to show you what it look like. So I'm select my program. That ASM, that is extension. Uh, every source code you need to have this extension that ASM that means you are write uh, assembling language program. Open it. Uh, this is the program uh, which I previous write. Uh, first of all, look at the section dot data. This is the place you are going to declare variable and initialize this value. Most of case you are going to declare. A constant variable and initialize a certain value that's going to be used for the global constant variable. The section dot BSS, this is an initialized global and static variable. Okay, normally you are going to define variable at here but does not initialize. Section dot text, this is the place you write code at here. The global is the keyword in the sampling language. You define a main as your main entry port for you begin to run the program. Okay, here is the label, main colon, and then you write your code underneath from here. Okay, this further statement that's going to be reset your base pointer for the debugging purpose, and then you can write your code from here and then is there. Uh, first of all, uh, let's introduce a concept called mnemonic and operand. Mnemonic is actually the mnemonic is the name of operation or function of a sampling language statement. For example, to move, to add, exclude all. This is the name of the function. And then operand, operand is a follow the mnemonic and here can have zero operand and can have one operand, can have two operand. Operand can be a register value, can be immediate value, 
all a um, memory address. In this case, it has two objects, EAX or EBX, that is general register. So the object can be memory, uh, can be register address, can be immediate address. Okay, this is the example, mnemonic, MU. The first operand is EAX. EAX, that means a 32-bit register. And give a number, this is decimal number, this one is immediate value. To move another value into the register to override that one. And also AX, that is a 16-bit register. You can set hex number, or you can set 8-bit register, and also you can set a hex number or binary number. A return that is mnemonic for uh, stop this program. Okay, uh, from here, for example, I saved it. It's already compiled to debug it. The stop point is going to be stopped at the first statement. And then this one is step into it. So you can step into it one by one. For example, this is a state move number two into EAX register. So you set this, yeah, you, you will see from here, the register EAX, the current value is two. Okay, the next statement is EAX set to zero, and then you can step into it. You will see here the EAX, the hex number is this one, uh, the decimal is zero. Also, AX set to 1, you can uh, step into it. You, you see here the value was changed. Uh, EAX, that is 32 bit, but here only uh, set the 16 bit register. So from this here, you will see the, the value change. Okay, the same thing you will see here AL change to 3 and still in this uh, register. Okay, after you debug it, you can stop it. Click this stop button, and then you go back to your editing mode. Okay, uh, this is a brief introduction how to use your says, says sampler. Okay, thank you very much. See you next time.